Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Hope everybody's alright. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And for those who are already here, welcome back to another one. So this is not something that I like to do because this is a very sad video. Um, imagine going to a cruise ship with all your family and a whole bunch of family are going to go and you are returning back with, without one of the person and the smallest in the family. That is, is so sad. But anyhow, we got to let people know what is really going on out there. You know what I mean? Because not everybody have access to internet that can see everything that is going on out there. So guys, um, I'm going to read this, okay? And it goes like this. A toddler was killed after she slipped out of her grandfather's hands and fell from the window of a cruise ship to the dock below. The girl, thought to be between the age one and two, was traveling with her family from America. She fell on an estimated two stories from the Freedom of the Seas that is was docked in Puerto Rico, according to the local reports. A spokesperson for the Department of Public Security in San Juan, Elmer Roman, said the girl's grandfather lost his grip while they played. It is very it is a very grave scene, very regrettable and tragic, Roman told Prim Primera Hora in the video interview on July 7, according to a translation by the NBC. One of the grandfathers whom it would appear was playing with the little girl, lifted her out of the open window and lost his grip. The girl was from Indiana, the spokesperson said. Traveling with both set of grandparents, her parents, a young brother and other relatives, Initial reports indicate that she fell from the balcony and struck the boat on the way down before landing on the pavement, about 150 feet below on the dock in San Juan, Puerto Rico. According to the Daily Mail, the grandfather reportedly slipped and fell while holding the girl. Witnesses described being startled by the sound of a woman screaming as the girl fell. We heard the screams of the families because we were close, a passenger said. I looked because of the mother's cry. That tone, a scream of pain, of that nature does not compare to any other scream. So you, you can imagine how she shouted. You can imagine, because it, it's not a normal scream. Freedom of the Seas is one of the largest cruise ships at that time when it was built, but now it is no longer considered to be one of the largest because they have built uh, the Symphony and a lot of, and two other more new ships. I can't remember the name right now. Freedom of the Seas is one of the largest cruise ships in the world, able to accommodate nearly 5,000 passengers and crew. It is operated by Royal Caribbean. Corporate Communications Manager for Royal Caribbean, Owen Terrace, said in an email statement, We are deeply saddened by yesterday's tragic incident and our hearts goes out to the family. We have made our care team available to assist the family with any resources they need. Out of respect for, for their privacy, we do not plan to comment further on the incident. Details about the victim have not been released by Royal Caribbean or by the, uh, or by the port authorities because she's a, a minor. There are not certain things that they are going to say. To the public and then you have to respect the family uh, wishes. When it was launched in 2006, the Freedom of the Seas was the largest cruise ship in the world. It is 209 feet in height with a total of 19 decks. Falling off a cruise ship is highly unlikely but not unheard of. According to the website, 12 people have fallen off cruise ships just this year, while since 2000 over 300, 300 crews and ferry passengers have gone overboard. With cruise ships built so high, falling in the water may even give a better chance of survival. In 2017, an eight-year-old girl died after falling from a balcony inside a cruise ship. The girl reportedly fell on the Carnival Glory cruise ship while it was docked at the Dante B. Fassel port of Miami on October 14. A teenage boy died earlier this year while he fell from the 18th floor balcony of, the Royal of a Royal Caribbean cruise ship that was docked in Haiti. The 16-year-old was attempted to go into his room on a Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas, and Harmony of the Seas is one of, one of their newer ships. That one come out about two years ago or one and a half years ago, something like that. The 16-year-old was attempted to go into his room and the Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas cruise ship via a balcony window when he slipped and fell, witnesses told ABC News. Oh, Lord. This is so, so sad. Imagine me going on a cruise ship with all my family. And when I'm returning at the end of that nine day cruise, seven day cruise, 12 day cruise, whatever cruise it was, I'm coming home without the smallest member in my family. Now tell me which which auntie, uncle, sister, mother, da, um, up to a dog who don't feel this one yeah. Seriously, up to the animal they don't feel, up to the animal would have been hurt over this. Guys, let me tell you something. I have spent eight years 
with Royal Caribbean International. This very same ship that you're looking at right now, I know every crevice, every corner, every in and alley on this ship. You understand? Now let me tell you something about this Royal Caribbean International company. If it is one thing I know, these people, before you even enter onto this cruise ship here, these people tell you about safety and safety of their passenger and their crew is their number one priority and if for no reason you violated this policy you are going to be disembarked from the ship at the nearest port of call so the the first port of call or the any port of call after that they arrive you're going to be kicked off you're going to be disembarked from the ship it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter matter if you are a manager staff crew whatever you call yourself guess it doesn't matter who you are whether you're up here 1800 1600 for for this art but it doesn't matter how much money you pay safety is their number one priority and anybody caught violating these rules you're going to be disembarked from any one of royal caribbean cruise ship and this is facts i have been around people falling off a cruise ship or jumping off a cruise ship is not new because i've been there i've seen it i've seen people get up and just jump like that for no reason people having problem then just jump overboard but in this case, this is not so. This is a baby that was in the care of adults. And as I said before, these people, I know before this family come on board the ship, they were brief about the safety regulations on this ship. You understand? There are certain things that you are allowed to do and certain things you are not allowed to do for safety reasons. So I think this grandpa here, he need to take some form of responsibility for the death of that little baby girl. Because you were supposed to protect this baby. There's no way you're supposed to be holding that baby through any balcony window. Because strong winds can come and sweep that baby out of here. And anything can happen. There, we, we can't encounter, at times we do encounter a lot of bad weathers where the ship is rocking like crazy. And you you can you can be standing there and you're just rocking. Your, your, you, maybe you can just stand up there and, and the, the, ship, the ship about to dock and you know it start to rock and you just sleep and the baby fly out my hand you never know what happened and you see these two boats here these are lifeboat and they're on either side so there's lifeboat on the right there's lifeboat on the other side of the ship those little white things that you see there those are life raft just in case of emergency these uh these are uh, yellow ones and these blue ones they are being lowered down to the side they are being lowered and we people board them get inside of them and get down and get away as from from the ship as fast as possible just in case if there's a fire, there's uh, grounding, there is flooding, these are what we are going to get off in. These are lifeboats, the yellow one are lifeboats, and the small ones, they are life raft. Just in case anything should happen that we have to abandon ship, this is what we are going to get in. And there are people who are trained to lower these uh, life raft during the boat drill. We are trained to lower them and get inside of them, and we are trained how to load them too. Because you cannot just jump in like you think, you cannot just jump in, there are rules and how you can load these things so this is not even you cannot you not you are not even allowed to smoke on the outer decks there are designated smoking areas and that's where you got to stay and smoke number one for number one reason for fire prevention that's the reason they don't allow nobody to smoke on their outer decks because you might be smoking and you think that you're out that cigarette it's not out you leave it there and it caught it ignited with something and before you know it the ship is on fire and they don't want that so everybody had to follow rules and regulation when they come on board the ship the simplest are things that you might think is joke and land on here it is no joke because we their lives the, the captain is responsible for all the lives that is on board this ship and one thing have happened to anybody on this ship he's going to take responsibility so he's going to discipline your ass when you broke any rules on board this ship so you see for this um the grandparents you are supposed to be held responsible and i know they want to maybe they, they want to go and sue the ship for this and that but you are supposed to be held responsible because because you are supposed to protect that little baby girl she don't know she don't know right from wrong you're supposed to protect her there's no way you should be guys look 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 at the height of the ship if the child fall from one of those windows all you see all these things here these are metal it guaranteed that she's going to hit on these before she reaches the, 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 the surface and the surface is going to be concrete so you can't all of them suck me and then them white suck me away look on you so these are metal railings and if the child fall from any one of the window so she's gonna hit on one of these before she reached down the bottom 
She might be saved if she have dropped in the water. She might be saved, but she didn't fell in the water. The ship was already docked, so she hit the concrete pavement. So chances are she suffered head injuries before she reached to the bottom to the to the concrete pavement. And a two year old I, I want to soft baby, you know, but you know, developing tissue, them soft and everything young, you know. So you can imagine when she just dropped this, so might be pound out or something. Imagine just imagine that. Imagine looking at your child. Imagine the mother, the pain where the mother feel looking seeing child I feel and can't even help help the picnic. Imagine that. Just because of grandpa's carelessness. Grandpa is supposed to charge you for murder. Because you did that on purpose. Because these are things that these are safety rules and you violated it. They're supposed to charge you. You're supposed to pay for for the death of this child. That same grandfather they're supposed to charge him. I know they're gonna to wanna to sue the ship, sue this, sue that, but what did the ship do? I'm sure they brief you about safety concerns before you, you come on the ship. Anything can happen. This is a ship we can encounter bad weather. And when they start to rock out there, so it's nothing pretty. I've been there and I could tell you I could write a whole book about being on board a cruise ship because I've been there and I've done it. I could write a whole book about this, about safety. The worst um thing that can ever happen to this cruise ship here is deep fat fire fire. That is the worst thing because you see if that does happen and it reach like two like two floors we cannot control that again it's time to abandon ship it's time to disembark it because there's nothing that anybody could do to control that fire because that that spread like anything and you all don't so there there are certain there are certain things that we are allowed to do and there are certain things that we are it's just zero tolerance when it comes to safety on board a cruise ship zero tolerance and i feel that this grandpa violated one of those safety rules that caused this to happen and i think that you should be charged for manslaughter because this child was in the care of this, this child was supposed to be protected by an adult and he, the adult was hanging the child outside of a window anything could happen they could be grounding they could be something there could be something could i hit the ship and it, it could be the same thing the child is not supposed to be hung outside no window the child is supposed to stay inside of the ship there are a lot of play pens on the on board the ship they, are, they have pools for the children they have slides they have a lot of play play pen play area for kids why didn't this grandfather take this child to, to one of those places to play why you had to be hanging the damn child from the window if you need fresh air get outside of your balcony yourself and go take the fresh air don't put the child life in danger and they need to charge you for it this is so sad because i couldn't imagine my child fell from one of these um how much floor this will come down this so i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't deal with that i could not deal with that Guys, please let me know what are your thoughts on this one. I, I, I just couldn't deal with that. This, that. this is too much for me. And I'm sure I cannot imagine the pain that the poor mother is going through right now. I, I am out.